My name is Leslie Alexander, and I'm originally from Brownfield, Texas. It's 40 miles southwest of Lubbock, and I actually grew up on a cotton farm, flat, and would run through the cotton field singing, The Hills Are Alive. Well, I started singing as a child, and I sang in the choir, at church, and in school, and then my brother, when he was in high school and college, started doing plays and then, and musicals, and so I saw him, and I, I thought, I think I want to do that. And then I went right into college and started doing operettas and operas and musicals and things. So now that I've been coming here on and off for ten, almost ten years, um, it's like family. You know, I know so many of the uh, crew and wardrobe and you know returning cast members and administration. And so it's like coming home. And I love Denver. It's beautiful here. One of the my favorite things to do is we sneak away to Copper Mountain and go snow tubing. <laughs> it is the most, one of the most fun things I've ever done in my life. Really? <laughs> it's so much fun. And you go and you ride this tube up and down, or you get on a conveyor belt going up the mountain, then you ride the tube down, you do that, you know, as many times as you can in an hour. And it is so much fun. And then we hit the outlet malls on the way back. <laughs> well, I love Bette Midler. She's one of my favorite performers. But I also had the good fortune to be in The Boy From Oz on Broadway with Hugh Jackman. And he is a fantastic person and a wonderful actor. And I'd love to do another show with him again. Well, I have discovered my other passion, uh, work passion, and I'm a professional organizer. And I love it, and I'm really good at it. It's hard work, but it's very uh, rewarding and fulfilling, you know, getting things all lined up, helping people make their homes organized and neat and their life easier. I just love that. You know, I would love for everyone in the world to have plenty to eat and plenty of clean water. And I think so many times people don't re realize that there are major portions of the world that don't even have clean water. And we take that for granted.